My name is Margarita Santos. I'm a Sergeant of Marines. I am a 3043 Supply Administration. I'm Lance Corporal Rachel Cook. I'm a soldier in the Australian Army. I work for the Royal Australian Corps of Transport and I enlisted in 2006. What is it like being a mom in the Australian Defence Force? It's challenging purely because you're balancing family. I'm a reservist, so I've still got a civilian job. But once I'm in the green and I'm at work, I am just another soldier ready to start work and do my job. So I'm from Brisbane. I am a nurse in my civvy job. I've probably been nursing for about 25 years. I have two children. My eldest is 23 and he's a police officer in Mount Isa. And I have a 19 year old still at home and he's a leading hand at the airport. He um, has been very affected with COVID but he's now back into it and working very hard. So do you think um, being a mum in the military would be the same as being a mum in any other profession? You're, if you're just a working mom, it's just very difficult in general, you know, because you spend long periods of time away from your children. You know, you work all day and all you have is like, you know, the nighttime and they're sleeping during the nighttime, you know. Yeah. So what time do you really have with your children? Um, but even then, I think, you know, stay at home moms, like they still have it difficult. You know, they just face different challenges than uh, working moms do, you know, so. I just think being a parent. I am from California, born and raised. I am married and I have one son. He's a year and five months. What were your thoughts when you found out you were going to be a mom? Oh wow, at first I was shocked and I probably really wasn't totally accepting until I had the baby and I looked at him and thought, oh he's helpless, like he can't do anything. And then um, my second thought, because I don't have any brothers, I'm like, what am I going to do with a boy? And I said it out loud to my sister and she says, you just love him. And I thought, oh, well, I can do that. And for Mother's Day, we would normally just go for a bike ride and have like either breakfast or lunch, wherever that meal fell. And then I would just really just for me reflect on how my children are now young adults and how you know they're contributing to the world they're happy they're functional and I just think really that I'm probably the luckiest mum in the world to have two great kids that can do that. Mother's Day to me means just a day that you're able to really celebrate your mother and just be able to thank her for everything that she's done for you. Uh, for me personally you know as a kid I always uh, looked forward to Mother's Day because even though I appreciate my mom every single day, it's just one day that I can give her a little gift to let her know, you know, with something materialistic that I do appreciate her and I love her very much. What's the most rewarding thing about being a parent? Mm. It's hard because he's little, right? Yeah. yeah. He's I would say the most rewarding thing about being a parent or just being a mother is just being able to watch them grow. I think that's very nice and it's just like you said earlier, like they grow really fast and you know I feel like you know I just I just had him a few days ago and he was a little baby and now to see him through FaceTime just running around and everyone having to chase him so I think that's the best reward, just seeing your children grow. I would like to think that my children are just a little bit proud of what their mum has done and contributed to the army. And yeah, I just hope that they're, yeah, just that little bit proud. You won't understand um, exactly what I'm saying, but if you were to see this video in the future, I'd want them to hear that I'm sorry that I left them, but that everything, all the choices that I made is for the betterment of his life. And I just have to get myself together because I said I wasn't gonna cry on camera. So. so a piece of advice that I would give to all mothers um, is that you got this, you can do it. Um, if you have dreams or aspirations that you wanna follow, 
just go for it. Even though it's gonna be difficult, it's gonna be hard, like you can do it. I'd like to wish all the mums and you <laughs> happy Mother's Day. Uh, and I hope you spoil your mum's children. <laughs> do you wanna say like happy Mother's Day together or something? Yeah, you can. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day.